All right, guys. Well, welcome back to the channel. I've had some people that have commented on the HO layout updates that I've given and wanted a little bit more detail. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that in today's video. If you like it, please subscribe. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so this back area is the area that I've been working on primarily over the last uh, couple of months. Um, and when I say a couple of months, I haven't had actually a lot of time to get out here. I've been on a lot of work trips. Uh, but this area over here, I've had some people ask about. I do have a cabin that's going to go right here, or kind of right here actually. Uh, and then I have some rustic vehicles that are going to, or vehicle that's going to be pulling up through here. This is kind of like a cabin slash campsite uh, back here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this opening. I'm still kind of deciding that. I moved the old wood um, kind of timber mill area, um, or timber sale area, back to the back left corner of my layout. Kind of like it back there, especially with some trees that I added in here. And there's going to be some more that go back there. I kind of like to mix up the variety. These over here, or this area over here, is just going to be kind of a northern woodland. I was kind of thinking this would be like a Canadian region over here because I'm running Canadian National, Grand Trunk is my two primary railroads. Um, my daughter Atlas, she came out and added some deer out here. So they're kind of frolicking around. One of them fortunately tipped over, so I got to fix that guy. <laughs> um, but this is going to go and wrap around and have a beat up car there. We have back here, which is going to be our winter layout. I'm still got a lot of work to do on this one. Um, just pretty simple. Uh, again, Atlas kind of like that. Um, there's going to be snow that kind of covers these boards in here, so you won't be able to see the lip on there. And other than that, kind of pretty standard. It's going to kind of slowly shift into a little bit of a fall theme right here with some trees, um, which I have. I just haven't gotten around to put in yet. So pretty straightforward run around. I have a hill area over here which is just going to have some trees on it um, with one of the main lines running off to the other side and I'll cap that back there. And then we move into this cityscape which I really haven't worked on at all. All summer it's kind of just become an area where I've been using it as a tool bench kind of thing. Um, but I have some other buildings that are going to get added into here. I got to clean up the schoolhouse and then we have the farmer's co-op that's looking nice. I don't, I think I'm going to do a little bit more with this area, but this is probably going to be an area that I don't touch for a while. I don't have any track that runs through here. So for the most part, it's going to be one of those situations where I kind of add to it as I might see something that I like. Now, if you remember, this track loops all the way around and shoots back out the other side, but it does start over here in what will be the staging yard, which again, is kind of turned into storage for me. I really haven't touched this side of the layout at all, uh, at all this, this year. Um, but you can see here, the main line kind of branches in and then that's where it goes around on the other side. Um, once it comes back out, it'll spit back out over here and it will connect to this main line here via a switch that I have to add. It's going to run around the layout. Up over, this is going to be a scene divider. I, I don't know how I'm going to stage that in yet, but it's there for now. And then it kind of goes into the Michigan sand dunes, um, which I still have a lot of work to do back here. It'll run across, around, there'll be some trees up in that area. Over the bridge, it'll loop around over a bridge that I had started gluing in, but I gotta, I gotta fix that still. It'll come around this area over here, another overpass. 
and it'll go around here and then I think it's gonna go off into the other room kind of loop back around and come back and it'll probably connect up there where the bridge is via another switch I don't know yet still kind of thinking of that if so I'll need a, a reversing um, a reversing loop I don't know still thinking it through um, the other idea that I have is coming back over here and you have to excuse my daughter's mess where it comes out it'll connect here again via switch it'll go on the outside line back here and I'm leaning towards it connecting via that switch down here to this switch and coming along on the inside line I have this here which is going to be just a dead end that connects to this building here it's kind of a industry of some sort It'll go along the inside rail this time. We're on my mess here. Underneath the bridges, I can then go over this panel here that I pulled out. And then it either has an option to then go around on that same setting. So this here would be one full size loop. Or when it gets over here, it could take the outside switch back around and loop around that area out there. So I'm kind of thinking if I do that, this upper level here would go out kind of, I don't know, maybe become a staging yard back there. I still have those two module lay or modular layouts that I got to figure out something to do with. Um, they ended up being a little bit larger than I thought. This modular layout back here what I think I'm going to do, and I haven't quite decided yet, is I think I'm going to cut the greenery off in the back. And then this will slide completely up onto um, this section of the layout here. And that'll just become a town. I really like this. Um, it went together pretty quickly, actually. Um, so I want to make sure that that gets used. But overall, that is an update on the layout. Um, it's starting to get pretty hot up here. Um, the only other changes that I've made. So I added some pictures of me and Atlas. One of the 1225. Some of these are, are a little bit older. Um, I got all of my signs, which if you're shopping for, you can find on Amazon. I'll include a link to these signs on there. Um, they're fairly inexpensive. So yeah, that's uh, our August 2024 update. And we're gonna keep at it and hopefully We'll have some progress, but like I said, it's starting to get a little warm up here. That says it's pushing 79, but it's probably 84 on the other side. It's it's funny with the vaulted ceiling on this side, it, it just heats up on this side quite a bit more than it does on that side. I wish you guys were here and you could feel it, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wrap up here. I gotta do a little bit of cleaning and then that is it for today. Oh yeah, I can't forget, I have my grand trunk picture that Atlas and I got done. So that is our update for August 2024. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'd be happy to answer them for you if I can. Um, some people have asked me some technical wiring questions that I wasn't quite sure on. I'm not going to give you the answer unless I'm 100% sure on it. Uh, but like I said, really like the progress on the layout. Yes, I wish there was some more that had been done. Uh, but kind of time-wise with work, it's been super busy, super hard to get up here. So I'm going to continue to give you updates. I'm sorry that they're not as regularly, regular as I expected. Um, but please continue to check back. If you like the content and you want to keep up on the layout, please subscribe. This is not just a train or model railroading uh, channel. We post a lot of fun stuff. So hopefully you guys like it. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video.